Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a special update for One UI 3.0. Now, this update has to do with your Good Lock module for customizing your phone. And of course, the best part is we actually have three brand new features which are specific to One UI 3.0, which I'm going to show you in detail. So, let me quickly show you exactly what I'm talking about. This one right here is One UI 2.5. So, when I go inside, you can see the good lock seems to be working properly. This is One UI 3.0, and one of the major drawbacks of upgrading to One UI 3.0 is you are going to be losing some functionality for the good lock module. Some of the modules are going to say unplugged at the bottom, and some of them are not going to work. But with the recent update, at least Quickstar is now working. So let's get that done to get it up and running. First and foremost, I want you guys to follow specific steps. Click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, I want you guys to scroll down a little bit. And then under download, you want to click the link. That's a quick star link for the Galaxy Store. So when you click on it right here, all you want to do is instead of clicking on update, you want to actually click on uninstall. So click uninstall. Let it exit the system and then reinstall it. That is actually what Samsung recommends. So I'm going to reinstall that. Okay. It's going to wait to download. It's going to be downloading and we are going to be good to go. Now I'm going to go back into my good luck module right over here and you'll see that the quick star is no longer unplugged. It says tap item to finish installation, which is all that you have to do. Now I do want to give you some important details. So if I go to quick star over here, and if I enable this one, they are going to look slightly different. They are preparing a brand new Quickstar just for One UI 3.0 because the control panel on both of these phones is slightly different now. By the way, that's one thing you can do with Quickstar. Now, you can only do this on One UI 2.5 from the panel settings. Uh, with One UI 3.0, you don't have that option yet, but they'll be adding that with a future update. And of course, I'll be bringing you guys a video on that as well. So you can see we have a bunch of new things here. I do want to show you something really cool. At the bottom here, it says swipe directly to quick setting. We don't have that option right here. That's One UI 3.0 Quick Star. So when I click this and I turn this on, there's a special setting happening here. Right now, it is set to go for the quick setting. So if I pull this down from the top, okay, it goes straight into my quick settings. However, if I enable the notification and disable the quick setting, if I go back out and if I swipe from the top down, it actually brings me to my actual notifications. So that's a new option that they have added. And if I go back over here, we have a brand new option. It says show quick button grid menu. So again, if I pull this down right now, the notifications, you'll see we have a four by three. Okay, so we have four applications, four columns, and three rows. Now when I uh, go back here and enable this option here, now when I pull this down, it's actually going to give me five columns and three rows so I can fit more quick toggles onto the main screen for easier access. So I'm going to go back one more time over here. Let's go back to the main screen. And then we also have the notification sort order option. So if I click on this, let me show you what's happening. With One UI 2.5, uh, notifications get sorted just like this. With One UI 3.0, the notifications are a little bit different. You can see we have the alerting notifications and silent notifications. They're compartmentalized. So when I go back over here, okay, I can tap on OK. And now these are going to look just like these notifications. They're no, no longer compartmentalized. They are sorted by time they were received. Okay, so that's a great little feature. Then when I go back over here, uh, we have the other settings. We have the clock setting here. We have the clock setting here. If I tap on this on the top, I can show the PM with the clock. I can hide that clock. I can put it to the right side. You guys probably are aware of this unless it's your first time. Uh, with quick star so those are some of the upgrades that we have received here so one thing i'm going to bring your attention to the biggest feature of the quick star module is the ability to customize the colors in the panel for example if i choose this one right here i can bring this down in 
If I go with this one, I can bring that down and it's gonna look a little bit different. And then if I go back up, I can go to this one right here and it's all gonna look a little bit different. So I can click plus here to create these custom notification panels. That's available on One UI 2.5, but it's not yet on One UI 3.0, but it is gonna be added, like I said, with a future update. So I want you guys to stay tuned I'm gonna bring you the video when that actually happens. So again, Quickstar is now ready for One UI 3.0. We have a bunch of new features, as you can see. And of course, in the future, it is gonna be further enhanced to have the panel settings as well. Uh, can't wait for that to actually show up. But things are happening, okay? If you are a GoodLock user, let me just go back to GoodLock over here. Just understand that a lot of these modules are undergoing updates to be fully compatible with One UI 3.0. For example, if I tap this here, it says we are preparing the update. If I tap it, try again when you see the update mark available. All right, of course, as soon as that happens, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a brand new video as usual. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.